Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Inscription Casey's Mod. I'm on challenge level 13. I didn't know if that existed. This is the run that I'm finally going to do the Grizzly Bosses. And we will return to the deck of free things because I've only done it once. Grizzly Bosses. Grizzlies appear during the first three boss battles. Now, I don't know if this means... Oh yeah, I'll just throw a random bear at you every now and then. Or if it means too fast, too soon where eight Grizzlies show up. It's time to find out. Oh, this is interesting. All challenge levels cleared. Huh. Um, you know what? I'm going to play as if I still need 120 challenge points, though. So I'm going to do a single candle. Yeah, weak start. Might as well go squirrels and then, I guess, just one difficulty modifier. That's 120 right there. So here we go. Off to see the Grizzlies. I'm going to prepare for both situations. Either the situation where it turns out, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of grizzlies at the end of each phase, or if it's just a couple random grizzlies here and there, I want to be ready for both. So I have the hook in my inventory. Oh, that's right, the funny music is back. And I want to figure out ways to be able to beat the grizzly. Well, I could beat a grizzly with a grizzly. Grizzly on grizzly warfare. And honestly, a grizzly is really good for a deck of free units. Like, sacrifice all three of these, get a grizzly. I actually should take this pretty much no matter what. But I also want to be able to get items that can help me out in this fight. Items or just a way to deal five damage in one turn. So any one campfire is good. So I don't need to go ringworm. I don't need a spam campfires. I guess I'll just take skink or black goat since I do have grizzly in my deck. Yeah, you know what? I will take the black goat uh, just for consistency and for future proofing. So now, yeah, I do want a pack rat. That way I can get more either hourglass items or scissors items, or I guess those are the only twos because I can't get another hook. This one hook will have to do me good and I'll just search for a bunch of scissors basically just in case because that is the way to get past the wall of grizzlies using items or just some crazy combo, which I mean, I could do, but I won't. I think I do want to play pack rat at least once every game. So I will take the squirrel and see what this gives me. Show me scissors. <laughs> hourglass, that's a banger already. Off to a fantastic start. Now, hourglass isn't perfect, unfortunately, but it might still be really, really good. Now I can just get a win out of the way. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Because if I can get something that has six or more attack, then the hourglass is a win against the wall of grizzlies. And my grizzly itself isn't too far off. Do I need a second pack rat? I think the answer is a resounding yes. The more pack rats, the merrier. The more chances I have at this. Between these, I'll go for insect as the most free cards. That's a bad one. That's a bad, bad one. I'll probably figure out how to get rid of it soon. Yeah, another pack rat. And just jam the pack rats and get us as many good items as I possibly can. Here we go again. Which means I'm going to have to do the tooth. All right, we'll look at this. This is working out. Yeah, let's go. Tooth. Get out of the way. And then pack rat is going to go here, actually. Maybe I can stall and get another pack rat. Oh, nope. Just kidding. I got another hourglass. Okay. <laughs> well, that was quick. So now I have to get something to have six attack. That is my next goal. Let me just dig through here. I got Grizzly. Cool. I'm gonna win in a few turns anyway. Um, show me. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Actually, I probably should be getting squirrels instead of this, huh? This is a little silly. It's fine. He'll run out of bees eventually, I'm sure. I'm not gonna use any of the good items now, that's for sure. Uh, this is about to hurt. Oh, but now I can get down my own grizzly. Okay, this is fine. Whoa, nope, 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 nope. All is good in the neighborhood. Yeah, so can I get this grizzly up to six attack? It should be doable. Um, I don't need more pack rats at this rate. I'll just take something here and then sacrifice away my ant queen most likely because it's garbage. Cockroach could be good though too. An undying grizzly or just undying on one of my free units might be even better, to be honest, especially for stalling purposes. 
yeah, actually, since we're coming out of Sacrificial Altar, I should do this. Undying Gek seems like it makes a lot of sense. Good ass campfire coming up. Love to see it. Do I not have Gek? Oh, maybe it just can't. Oh, wait, no, there's no sigil. Never mind. I'm dumb. We get the Gek now. And yes, this has to be the play for sure. It is very powerful. It's what I'm going to need against the uh, potential Grizzlies. Oh, double campfire. Please have them both be attack. So I don't have to risk much. I cannot under any circumstance let my Grizzly die. That would be bad. I guess I'll play like this. We'll go Gek into Pack Rat, which, which changes nothing, into a Gek, into winning next turn. Very nice. And away we go. I'll try to get some extra teeth with the Gek. I guess it's just one extra tooth. Every little bit counts. I can't believe I got two hourglasses right from the get-go. That is insane. It's like the game knows. It's like, hey, you're going to be facing some grizzly suit. Need some help? Oh, yeah, I do. Adder. You know what? I actually will take the adder. Because if the first campfire is health, I'm going to put the adder in it, hoping it gets sacrificed. And then the second campfire could be attack. And then I could benefit from it. So let's see. I get attack. Which means I have to say no adder. Unless I think the second one's going to be attack. But it could be health is the issue. Oh man. I could also double buff Grizzly right now. That's so risky. You know what? I'm just going to... If the second one is health, then this does me good. If it's... Or sorry. If the second one's power, then this is just fine. If it's health, then I was screwed either way. But hopefully this Grizzly will make a difference. Come on. Show me power. No! The order was backwards! Ah, oh, this was the worst possible order. Well, now I could just sack the adder in attempts to get rid of it. The adder might not be too bad for the fight, though, either. It pains me to say it, but I might want to keep it around. Because I could play the adder and then the hourglass, so the adder kills, and then summon the grizzly for the second part. So maybe instead I just want to try to burn away the ant queen. Yeah, the adder might be actually good for the fight here. Please die. I mean, it's, you know, it's good health, but please die. Thank you. Good, good, good. All right, moment of truth. It's time for the boss fight against the angler, which has an easy first half. We'll see. I'm nervous, guys. I'm actually nervous. I don't know how it's going to go. Okay, I got both of my good units. The thing is with Grizzly, I would want it down after the adder. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea how to play this. Maybe I'll just turn one pass. This might be weird. I'm actually just going to play the squirrel right now. The only purpose of this is that I will know when he's going to start hooking. Okay. I mean, I could get down Grizzly now, except no, Grizzly's going to get stolen. God, this is so sloppy. I'm going to take a squirrel, actually, then. And here's how I'm going to play this. I'm going to go Black Goat into Adder. Maybe just here. But you're not going to yoink my adder. You're going to oink my aqua squirrel. So with that in mind. The point of the adder is just so I can make sure I don't lose in damage to kingfishers of all things. And of course the squirrel will stop his ki kingfisher from doing anything. I do want squirrels but I also want stuff in my deck that does things. Like Gek. Gek is awesome. I can start doing actual damage to him now. Outpacing him. And then slowly making my way towards... Hey, um... Grizzly, being able to summon one. Now I'll get this Aqua Squirrel down as well. Don't want that taking my infinite Gek. And I should enough sacrifice this to make it work. The plan is to just use a single Hourglass to get through the potential too fast, too soon phase. Let's just hold on to it. Slowly get there. And yeah, that's three sacrifices. So let's see what else is in my deck. Tadpole. How does this work? So I'm going to play Tadpole here. And then I'm going to play Aqua Squirrel here. What does he hook? Does he hook? He doesn't hook. No, he does. Oh, it just pulls back a squirrel and completely kills his other unit. Amazing. So now is the moment of truth. What exactly is going to happen? Yep, it's these. But I came prepared. I actually am pretty set here. So let's go this. 
and then hourglass you'll pass your next turn i get a kill on the grizzly and then i have five damage in hand oh my gosh so let's just take it and then go boom 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 right here grizzly for the win you beat the grizzly with the grizzly okay okay i'm ready for this i still have two super units and a strategy but I, I would like to get another super unit back and the hook one's a little bit worse the hook one doesn't work as well come to think of it but mantis god does cover for that so now we're in business mantis god means i can go hook plus mantis god and get there so i will take you holy crap so now i gotta be sure i get through the rest of the fights i picked single candle challenge and plus one difficulty do not forget that that is all very real so I still gotta play very strongly without wasting either of those items either. So to begin with, the Warren's pretty good. You know what I just realized though? I still need to draw my Grizzly. That's kind of important. So if anything, I'm kind of looking for like Magpie and Warren isn't even gonna be good enough. So let's see, can I get a Magpie or something along that line? No, uh, this card's okay. Or I could just get Elk Fawn. No, this one's pretty good for like normal matches though. It'll deal some pretty sick damage very quickly i guess i kind of want to sacrifice for a short deck well what would i get rid of out of my deck every single card is actually very important oh wait no but it's a sacrifice sigil so i keep the pack rat sigil yeah no i just put pack rat on something else duh i don't need to mycologist it either let's go with tadpole why not perfect and if i can do that with both pack rats that'd be ideal Dude, his eyes are red. Oh, God. Glowing red eyes. Yeah, that's terrifying. I can deal two damage. This is fine, actually. I can go have this guy here and then just sack him next turn. Hopefully he doesn't summon too much more. Thank you for the bone, though. Very generous of you. Yeah, because he's about to deal four. I guess I need to get down the adder. It's fine if I play like that. One damage could add up over time. Okay, Wolf on the way. Fantastic. Ah, uh, this amount of damage is... Actually, wait, fine, right? I'll deal one, and then he'll deal three, and then three. So I could technically go for um, Squirrel, 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 and be just barely okay. Well, I guess, well he gets three attacks with the Porcupine, though. Hold on. So I draw the squirrel, and then have to wait. I get dealt three. Oh, I only get dealt three. Wait, this is fine. Yeah, it's grizzly time soon. Your units are gonna have nothing on the big grizz. And good enough for overkill. Happy to stall that out. So there we go. Got a lot of bones. Don't know if I want to be going for a bone deck. Particularly. Yeah, rabbit's okay. Just block. Eh. I'm going to hold on to it in hand. It's still like a three turn kill regardless. Just holding back on one damage doesn't change anything. I guess it was two damage, but what are you going to do? Oh, and next turn I can get, get the pack right down. So that's a wonderful change. Let's see. What do I get? Let's go right here. A black goat. Uh, that's not quite the thing I'm looking for. I'll have to get that out of here soon. Now what? I guess remove a card to thin to win? Maybe this card. This card's actually a bit less useful than I thought. Or I could get something absolutely terrifying, terrifyingly bad from this choice. Cuckoo is okay. That doesn't really help me against too fast too soon. I'm looking for magpie. Show me magpie. Another adder. You know what, this time I'm going to take Warren. I don't really care about the adder too much. Warren is a very solid stalling card. Gets me to Grizzly, gets me to other things. It's a double sacrifice. So it's either adder, this card, or this card. Which has the least value to my deck? Do I not need the adder anymore? Because I could just use Grizzly and Mantis God combo with Hourglass, and that would also work because I have Grizzly next to Mantis God and the lane in front of the Grizzly would be dealt six damage. Therefore, I wouldn't need the Adder anymore. 
And then the free turn would be five damage with the Grizzly winning. So I could actually just get rid of this now. I think it no longer benefits my deck. Even though I do need Grizzly and Mantis God, it's different. It's easier than needing Grizzly and Adder. It's easier by a lot, actually. Because a Mantis God is a one attack and it's good during the first phase of the fight. All right, so this time I want to get rid of the Black Goat because I'm about to come on a pack. I might just take it into my hand before I forget. Oh, this sucks. Another Black Goat rendering all this kind of just useless. Like I said, I still got to take this. I will just go Aqua Squirrel into Mantis got to wear though. I mean, here means I'll be just fine. I deal two, he does two, and eventually I'll get him. It'll just take a fat minute. That mole's a little more annoying, but what are you gonna do? And I got the grizzly. Let's uh, get that down. There we go, I went in two turns. What else? Oh, tadpole. I could get a little pack item here, just to know what I'm working with. Boulder, okay, yeah. One shot at that, get that out of here. There we go, I win. All right, what will I get from the almighty pack offering? Hopefully a scissors. A scissors is gonna be awesome if I can't draw all the units I need, because scissors is, I think, easier to pull off against too fast too soon. Between these, gonna go insect. Another ant queen. Damn it, this game loves giving me ant queens. I see a campfire I could get rid of it at. Uh, fly blocking doesn't matter, or fly flying doesn't matter, because they already have fly blocking. The grizzlies have fly blocking. So, how I'm going to play this, I'm going to take the pliers and just get rid of it during this battle, because I see another forced pack coming up. And yeah, it looks like I'll win this. I'll just take the easy dub. I'll get a choice real soon. Get you here. Get the mantis gone right in the center. And there we go. Easy plays. Now the trial. What am I even looking for in here? A magpie. I'm looking for a magpie type sigil. That's pretty much it. Uh, my best odds are probably sigils. Oh, Sigils is actually pretty unlikely then, unless I get Tadpole. I think my best odds is actually health. I have slightly better odds here. Yep, there we go. Looking for Magpie type Sigils. Did not get it. Hmm, so now what? Great White could be okay as a, another threat, like the Grizzly. I think I will go Great White. I don't know if that's gonna actually stay though. So let's go to the fire, try to burn away the Ant Queen. Or if I get attack, I guess put on the Great White. Did not get attack. Lots of HP. All right, well, hopefully this kills it. Not a good unit. Please? Yes, good, good, good. It seems more likely that the unit dies than it doesn't. <gasps> Wait, no, oh crap. Ah. I forgot about that aspect of it. Son of a bitch. Well, I guess I'm getting a pack rat then. It's better than an ant queen, but not at all what I was hoping for. Damn it, there's so many details in this game. Yeah, yeah, you won't allow me to take more items. Can you let me exchange? No, of course not. Well, prospector fight shouldn't be too bad for me. I've got two threats. Man, all that needed to happen was attack. I needed to show up. Okay, I drew pack rat. Let me get this gone. Because I'm going to play pack rat soon, or eventually. Let's just put this here for a little bit of damage. Probably pack rat coming down next turn. I think I'm okay in this fight. Not amazing, though. Show me scissors. Boulder. Okay, so I really need to be looking through my deck for, like, good cards. I'm stalling out as long as I can. Just look for the good cards. Got Mantis God. That's a good one. How? I have to use the hook this time. Because he's going to turn my stuff into 
um, gold, isn't he? Alright, well, either way, save the mantis god. Hashtag save the mantis god. Oh, these wolves are gonna be so annoying. Black goat right now would be perfect. Crap. I'm gonna just take this into my hand. I know it's gonna have to happen. Oh, this is tough. Dealing with the freaking wolves and the prospector and the grizzlies? That's insane. At least I get to deal two damage right now. Rip to a real one. Okay, now I'm looking for exactly Gek. Thank you. That's a lot better, because now this can stall pretty much infinitely. While I save up for better things like Great White. And this can stall at least for a little bit. And then, yeah, a couple turns and I should make my way to Great White. Actually, the Gek will kill the wolf pretty soon, won't it? So that's, that's a pretty good deal. Get you down right here. And then next turn is Great White time. I think between the Great White, the Hook, and the Mantis God, I think I should be fine. So it's a good thing I took that Great White, actually. It seemed to pay off. I don't want anything else on the field, of course, so it doesn't get turned into gold. So right here. <laughs> and it's got a rabbit. I think I'm ready. Let's go. This was scary, but ultimately not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so about to get this down. Maybe if I get, get another pack item somehow, that could be lucky. No, okay. So we're hooking the edge grizzly. Your mine, thankfully, does not move up. And do a little mantis god action right here. Five damage. Let's go. <laughs> this is very tight. The hourglass will be perfect for the other fight. But I would still prefer scissors. I'm going to try for scissors to make my life easier and to just have more good items. Show me magpie. Strange larva's good too. Strange larva is another way that hourglass wins. So I will take it. And it's just a great unit, let's be real. <laughs> it's a nice change of pace having rare cards. I usually don't. I usually like the non-rares. So I think I have to go left so I can get a pack replenishment. So let's take this. Show me a magpie. Magpie? Nope. Do I want dire wolf? That's a pretty good sigil. Then I don't even need hourglass for some uh, situations. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take dire wolf. I could just put that on my um, mothman and then it wins without hourglass. So what am I worried about? Well, still, maybe I could get some other good items. Scissors! Let's go! And between these, I want to go squirrel. Yeah, 100%. It's a very versatile thing. And honestly, I might just hold on to these until the fight. Oh, yes. So scissors, in my opinion, is better than hourglass for the grizzly fight. Here, can I just win? No, but I can play decently. Let's start with the good old mantis god. I'm gonna save my squirrel if I can. It's not like he's dealing any damage. Then I win next turn, don't I? Because I'm too off. So I just play this instead of the Mantis God, and then it's two damage and I win. No overkill needed. Just gotta keep my composure. One candle. Cannot throw this. It's very important that the playing is good. Trapper's a little annoying, but I do see a trader up ahead at least. Finest pelt for sale. Oh god, I have like no teeth. I'm gonna just take one pelt. I don't want to ruin the next game. My chances in that. And I get a couple sacrifices. yippee ki -yay. So... Yeah, Dire Wolf on Strange Larva seems amazing. Plus it keeps it as it levels up. I don't know what I'm worried about. Let's do it. That is a powerful freaking combo. And I want to be sure, because actually, the more I think about it... No, Leshy isn't going to have Grizzlies in this fight, is he? It said the first three bosses, so I think I'll be fine. Um, I think I have to let the Cuckoo go, though, and kill off a Raven Egg instead. Oh, gee, I don't know, though. Actually, let me play like this. I'll put this guy right here. And then I'll do something next turn. No Egg for you. 
You know what? I guess I am going to actually use this squirrel. Maybe I'll get uh, a squirrel right back. But the idea behind this is that I need to get down pack rat. Am I going to use black goat? I think the answer is yes. Oh, that means he's getting the alpha. Well, actually, then here's how I'm going to play this. I'm going to go pack rat here. Oh, <laughs> um, maybe I just want to use one right now. My uh, odds in this fight aren't exactly great. And I do win with a single hourglass glass usage. So I probably shouldn't get too greedy. This is probably a good time to use this. Plus, I'll have plenty more shots to get stuff back. Okay, I pass. And now I have enough damage to get him. So, now what? I definitely go for your Traitor here. Because, yeah, then another Sacrificial Altar is always the move. So now what? Magpie? Magpie! 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 Very good. That is awesome for consistency. Now, I might sacrifice Magpie, put down something cheaper, but I'm happy to have it. Pack coming up. I do have a vacancy already. So keep that in mind. Leave a vacancy at the end of the game. I should probably be magpie onto something cheaper. So it could be black goat. So whenever I play the black goat, I can search through my deck for a three cost unit. Am I playing anything multiple times? Possibly no. Yeah, it goes on the black goat for sure. So flying black goat. But most impor importantly, it's a tutor. All right, so remember, leave an empty uh, space in my items by the end of the game. Try not to use either of the good, two good items. Um, oh, that blows. Holy crap, that moose buck's gonna kill me. I might have to use another hourglass on this one, just so I can get down the grizzly and win. Wow, yeah, this is a very terrifying fight, and this opening hand does not show promise. Especially with this mole man coming up, I feel like it's just gonna cause problems. Like I said, scissors is the best card for the fight. Sorry, best item. And plus, I'll get two new items, so maybe I'll even get a second pair of scissors. Yeah, I think this is how it goes. Oh, man. What a brutal series of events. Let me just... I, I don't know why I feel the need to do this. I just am. Yeah, yeah, you pass. Very good. And grizzly time. <laughs> good thing I took that warren. I wasn't so sure about that before, but... It did come in clutch here. Maybe we'll get two pairs of scissors. Who's to say? Yeah, you know, only God knows what I'm gonna get. From this... Mmm... I think I want one cost. I think even more than bone cost. So I'm gonna hunt for it. Good. Mantis, sure. Um, it's a good alternative for Mantis God for getting five damage. If I happen to... Well, I guess hook doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, another hourglass. And another one! Okay, this game has to be giving better items on average if you have the Grizzly modifier enabled. That has to be like a very subtle um, change that's just unspoken. Because it seems like it is... You do win with items. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll take a fecundity totem. Guess who's never getting the top half of it? Yeah, because fuck you, that's why. That's right. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I could, but I don't need to. But I, I honestly think that this modifier is best done. I could just be getting really lucky, but I think I'm getting lucky on top of the idea that it works this way. Anyways, I can turn one and get him. This is going to be the easiest fight of my life. We go Black Goat into the damn Grizzly into Scissors. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. Too late, too slow, buddy. <laughs> oh, okay, it still creeps me out every time, but whatever. And snip, snip. There goes your tip. That's a game. And time for the Leshy fight. I have two hourglasses on my side and the bottom half of a fecundity totem. But guess who's going... <laughs> To the, uh, item shop. Or maybe a sacrifice altar. I'm not sure which. Strange larva? 
Do I want a shapeshifter in my deck? I think no. I'm going to go Mole Man. I almost never go Mole Man, but I think my deck could use a Mole Man. And bring on Leshy. I'm so excited. Get my first ever Grizzly win. Ah, you know what? Screw it. We'll do the Fecundity Totem one time. I might not even get a good head. <laughs> I honestly might not. Oh, I'm so dumb. That's exactly what I meant to do. <laughs> I misclicked. Well, we didn't need that anyway. Let's go to the fight. I Hopefully, I don't need this anyway. I mean, I have two hourglasses and a really good deck. How bad could it be? Truly. I have so much good stuff. <laughs> uh, that's, that's actually hilarious. I love that. Oh, again, I have to watch out for the Prospector. Here's how I'm going to play. I'll go Aka Squirrel into Strange Larva. I'll just get that down. I don't know, maybe here. Into Hourglass, turn one. So the Strange Larva can level up very quickly. Yep. And hopefully there's no threats of pickaxery. Doesn't look like it's good. So then the Poopa will be doing good damage next turn. Say if I just don't play anything right now, which is a consideration, I would be taking two damage, and then I would be dealing seven, because first shot would kill the Mole Man, second shot would be seven, and that would be enough to get him. So, should I even play Pack Rat is the question? I think the answer is no. So I will just let it ride. You don't scare me. You don't scare me in the slightest. Got the Mothman. Let's see what else is my deck. Got a grizzly. Time to get him. Boop and boop. Beautiful. Does he still, like, pickaxe? That's another thing I was worried about. He doesn't. And... Well, I'm just straight up about to get a win here. I mean, Mothman's gonna kill Grand Fur. And then him. So, let's just take it to the moon. Make it easy. Who needs the fecundity totem anyway? Beating it without that, just beating it with good old <laughs> double attack Mothman. It's actually insane for damage. And now, let's see, can I kill the moon without the moon even attacking once? Let's see, what else is in my deck? Tadpole. So, let me first do Tadpole. <laughs> the moon's never gonna attack. Ever. The moon will never, ever attack. That's so good. Get this down. Get this down. That down. And grizzly time. Beauty. Moon won't even see a single attack. Yep, just keep passing. Do another one. Pass next turn. No interaction. Show me another hourglass. Oh, I got bones, but it don't matter. It don't matter. This gets them. Moon didn't even attack once. And then he'll pass. Yeah, I bet you will. That changes nothing. GG. Well, that was the Grizzly fight. There's only one left thing, or one thing left to do in this mod now, at least until another update happens. And that is all challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are excited. All challenges is going to be sweet. Stay tuned. I don't know how many tries it's going to take me, but it's going to be very tough. See you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and peace.